What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing the match review, match analysis and match reaction to Manchester City's emphatic 7-0 victory over Leeds United in the Premier League at the Etihad Stadium. But before I do crack on with this video, make sure, like always, if you are enjoying the content, want to help support my channel, then do subscribe. We're aiming for 22k subscribers. We're less than 900 subs away, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below so you're going to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. Aiming for over 100 100 likes so any help towards that again will be much appreciated and do let me know your thoughts in the comments below of what you made of this brilliant performance by Manchester City so let's crack on with this match review first it's a game that seen City have over 30 shots 31 shots 15 on target seven goals clinical Manchester City 64% possession as well we couldn't have wished for a better game stats wise uh, really from Manchester City and like I said with City showing their clinical touch spot on but things just unravel themselves City get the first goal it's Phil Foden it sets us up really nicely for this game eight minutes in we're always looking first 10 15 minutes get that first goal put our opponents under pressure and if the other team can get the goal against us it puts us under pressure so the fact that we've got the first goal is always the first thing that we're looking for and that's that job done ticked off what you look for next second killer goal and the fact that we got that in 13 minutes Jack Grealish it was this time getting the goal for Manchester City meant that Leeds had a mountain to climb we doubled our lead we've got that killer two goal cushion to play with all we needed then was what the third goal to wrap up the three points and considering we got that before half time in the 32nd minute this time Rodri who in my opinion only on the pitch for what less than an hour got my man of the match for this game because he was so brilliant in the middle of the park for Manchester City providing an assist and giving the ball to Kevin De Bruyne now to see him get back in and amongst the goals uh, and uh, fire Manchester City to a free goal lead uh, at half time then we come back I was expecting when we came back out maybe for City to get one or two more just stay off leads just ease the pressure and coast so to speak because that's the easier thing for us to do uh, we came out it's just with the same momentum that we had in the first half 49 minutes in just four minutes after the restart Riyad Mahrez threw a deflection from Firpo finding the goal uh, with an assist from Ilkay Gundogan which is good to see uh, as well with him coming on uh, in the uh, in the second half for Manchester City uh, for Bernardo Silva nice for Bernardo Silva to get a little bit of a rest as well and then Kevin De Bruyne bagged himself a brace with what was well arguably the goal of the game with a thumping effort showing well and truly that Kevin De Bruyne he is back and back in amongst the goals for City and another assist for the substitute Ilkay Gundogan as well now Julia Thurpo thought it was very lucky with a foul on Jack Grealish to escape not getting a second yellow card and being sent off in this game uh, that could have been even worse for Leeds and this could have been an even more embarrassing result for them than what it was already then we've got the 6th goal in the 74th minute through John Stones I said on my live stream I fancy John Stones getting a goal with his foot and then what 5 minutes later of me saying that he goes and bangs one in with his weaker foot as well into the roof of the net great finish 6-0 to Manchester City and I spoke about on my live stream as well that City are playing that well we're creating that much we might even get a goal from a header from a corner and that's exactly what happened with our seventh and final goal a corner comes in from Phil Foden and there's Nathan Ake he played well when he came on for Manchester City there is a selection headache for Pep Guardiola going into that match against Newcastle it's a good header from Ake beats Meslier into the back of the net to make it Manchester City 7 Leeds United nil. What it means for the league table, though, more, most importantly, not only does it put Liverpool under pressure because they're now four points behind us with a game to play, uh, and Chelsea five points behind us with a game to play, both of them playing on Thursday evening. It also means City now are playing catch-up on that all-important goal difference. We've now overtaken Chelsea's goal difference. We've got a four goal difference on Chelsea and this Premier League title could well come down to goal difference so the fact we've played catch up on that and got a really big victory here is great news for Manchester City we're only two goal difference behind uh, Liverpool as well uh, which is great news too we've played catch up on that and if we could put Newcastle United at the weekend to, to the sword as well there's no reason why we couldn't have by the end of the weekend just before Christmas have the best goal difference in the Premier League and considering before this game I was a little bit worried about our, our goal difference and the 
fact that City, when we are winning, are winning by one or two, and uh, Liverpool throughout the season have been getting a couple more goals than us, uh, we've now reduced that deficit. It's gone from Liverpool having 45 goals in the season, uh, and Manchester City having 33 before this game. City have now got 40 goals and just five behind Liverpool. Yes, Liverpool have got another game to play beforehand um, in uh, on Thursday evening. So that's what we have to look forward to, but pressure well and truly uh, on Chelsea and Liverpool going into uh, into them games uh, this midweek for for well for them and so yeah this is a professional confident comfortable performance from Manchester City. I could give my man of the match to, like I said, I gave it to Rodri because I just thought he was outstanding, but Phil Foden was brilliant, Jack Grealish in the first half was sensational, Kevin De Bruyne, he's back, he had a great game for Manchester City, Riyad Mahrez never fails to disappoint, he just puts in clean, class performance every time he's on that pitch, and there is a selection headache now for Pep Guardiola, Gabriel Jesus, Raheem Sterling, who've been playing well themselves over the last month or two for City as well, how did they get into this team surely we go into that game against Newcastle you, you're starting with the same 11 you have to start with that same 11 they've done the job well and truly here and whilst I said during my live stream I wasn't happy with the subs made by City because it was a great opportunity to get the young players that were on the bench onto the pitch what Pep Guardiola did do is give players that haven't had as many opportunities as maybe what he was hoping for to come onto the pitch and these players when they came on had a point to prove. Players like Nathan Ake who put in clean, confident professional performances, getting himself a goal as well, so good for Nathan Ake. Fernandinho looked better, good for him. Ilkay Gundogan came in off the bench, got himself a couple of assists, he looked good as well. It's just all round just a brilliant performance from City. I just have one disappointment from this game. My disappointment is with 15 shots on target, we could have had more goals than seven. We really could. Eight, nine, I fancied ten. Not to be, maybe another day. It's coming under Pep Guardiola and we've done all this without a striker. Now imagine what we could do with a striker. Imagine if we had Erling Haaland leading this line. Manchester City would be a force to be reckoned with and he could be that little piece of the jigsaw that is missing in what is already a very complete jigsaw. A Leeds team who, to, to me, in my opinion, are a very good team, just completely taken apart. My analysis for this video, Leeds were just allowing us too much space. Uh, they, they weren't closing us down good enough. The defence was all over the place and the, the biggest problem they had was space. They wasn't limiting that space. They wasn't closing it down quick enough. They were statuesque at times, some of their defence, and City were just playing around them. City have too much creativity, too much about them for, for Leeds' defence and midfield in this game. Uh, but it doesn't help that when you've gone 2-0 down after, what, 13 minutes, your game plan has well and truly been undone. And what Leeds now have, to me anyway, is a battle for relegation to make sure that they don't go down. Currently sitting in 15th place and you've just been whacked at the Etihad Stadium by seven goals to nil. I do fear for you, but we've got another team that's uh, lingering down near the relegation zone in Newcastle United away from home on Sunday. We can, we'll see what we can do against them and how they try and limit the space and what they do. But if Newcastle come uh, with an open uh, mindset like what Leeds United have in this game, uh, I think this is uh, familiarised as to why lots of teams park the bus when they play against Manchester City because when you're nice and open, City will dictate the game and will annihilate you if you allow them and I think this will probably discourage a lot of teams from wanting to play football against us and we'll instead see lots of teams doing what Wolves did at the weekend which is parking the bus and City have proved time and time again that not only are we capable of beating teams that can park the bus, we can beat open teams as well, we look like the complete package, what we need to do, make sure we maintain this momentum and keep it up, we've got a game coming up against Newcastle, all focus now needs to be on that so there we go that has been the video hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy this video leave a thumbs up so i know that you enjoyed this video aiming for 100 likes so any help towards that would be much appreciated don't forget also to leave your thoughts in the comments below what did you make of this emphatic victory for manchester city let me know in the comments below subscribe if you're new around here press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on aiming for 22k subscribers less than 900 subs away so any help towards that would be fantastic check out my social media links they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen 
if you want to go follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships, for any videos, or any general business inquiries. And I'll see you all again for the build up to that Newcastle game and some more City content coming up soon for you guys to enjoy. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.